we finally discovered the Gila National Forest and went and visited the wilderness area and the Gila cliff dwellings. In the Gila National Forest, there are a few campground options to choose from. Having a truck camper, we narrowed the options down to three. Grapevine Campground, Forks Campground, and the Gila Hot Springs and Campground. Both Forks and Grapevine are free, and Grapevine was our choice. It was only six miles and 12 minutes from the cliff dwellings and had sites right on the river. Let's take a look at the Grapevine Campground. To enter the campground, you come down a big hill, and this is what the view looks like at the very bottom of that as you enter the campground. There is actually two pit toilets, and in our season, only one of them was open, and there definitely is no trash service. So a great wide open space at the bottom of the hill when you first enter the campground. Let's go ahead and drive it and see what it looks like. the final campsite back along Forest Road 528. So if you just keep following it all the way, you get to this big open space. And there's actually a second one up here that looks pretty interesting as well. Almost when we wish we had gone, you know, just a little bit further uh, to catch up to these spots. But we really like sitting next to the water. And that is kind of where we're at, one of the last spots right on the water edge. Take you up here. And in the winter with all the sun coming through the trees, that's pretty nice. So if you've got solar, makes for a cool little spot. And then you can see our camper over there against the edge. So this one's kind of up and away from the road and the other sites. What's really interesting is when you look at the maps, you actually see this road coming down. And it actually crosses the river here and continues. There's definitely some other sites, uh, maybe pull off or something over there, or maybe just trails. We might go check it out. Our bubbling river right next to camp. Now that the sun's on it, it's actually really kind of pretty. It's very warm out. It's going to be in the mid 50s here today. It definitely was in the 20s overnight. And there's our campsite. Can't beat that. This is 
the day use area of the creek. If you actually turned right off of the road, you would come down to this area here. No camping allowed. Forks Campground is only about a half mile further up the highway and a little closer to Gila Cliff Dwellings. There is lots of room. It's definitely not at River's Edge. It's up on a bluff, so to speak, um, but it looks pretty pleasant and also has a lot more sun, so if that's something you're after, that may be more enjoyable. The Gila Hot Springs Campgrounds and Pools is a private campground right on the river's edge. There are about eight sites and three hot spring pools. Mm -hmm. 